Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going better than fantastic. And your journey to self-betterment is extremely productive. Today. I want to talk about something very important. And it's the magic that the narcissist works in your life to keep you around. And to keep you calling them. Or keep you in a relationship with them. And though it seems complex. It's really simple when you think about it. The narcissist makes sure you're in an area of life where you have no or limited emotional and possibly financial support from others. Or. They get you to walk away from any support you previously have had. As we've seen in many relationships that people speculate if the relationship is toxic or not. Take a look at some people out there in the world and you can see many of these telltale signs of what we are speaking about today. They gaslight you to make you think you are in the wrong. That they never really said or did what they really said or did. And that you are making a big mountain out of nothing. Or so they say. They project their negative and toxic views. Behaviors. And actions as to being really yours when they are not. They sleep deprive you by at times keeping you up at all hours of the night and morning with chaos and stress. Only for you to try to function at work the next day. And during all of this you feel like you can't think straight. Nor are you able to formulate an opinion as to what is going on. It's like you are just hovering watching all of this stuff happen to yourself you are so far out of it. They do these horrible horrible things and many more. But the magic component that they add into the mix. Is they know the right time to pretend like everything is just fine. Narcissists are masters at this. Now I've talked about how the narcissist gets you addicted to them. You see. Within the first few months you are in this new person's life. They will come on strong. Though most narcissists are known to be terrible gift givers. In the beginning of getting to know a narcissist. Or when they are pretending that everything is okay. They will seem to spare no expense. Within the first few months of knowing this individual. They will take you places that might be out of your price range and pay the bill. They will buy you nice gifts. They will do all kinds of nice things for you. They will say all kinds of wonderful things about you. How you are their soulmate and how they have never met someone as good as you. But then somewhere usually around month 6. It could be longer or shorter. Depending on the situation. But there are many many people that have the same story of around month 6 is when things went haywire. You see. During all of this nice treatment. You become bonded to the narcissist. You become addicted to the wonderful feeling you get when you are around them. Then on purpose. They rip the rug out from under you. With some crazy out of the blue argument. They might get mad because you were late picking them up for dinner by 10 minutes. They might gaslight you and say that you agreed to pick up an item at the store they never told you about. And they will start an argument with you. It doesn't matter the reason. But before you know it. They are yelling to the top of their lungs about how terrible you are. And how they wish they never met you. Which I talked about in one of my last videos. But then they do something interesting. They call you back later that night. Or maybe they walk into the room a few minutes later. With tears in their eyes. And they say how sorry they are they yelled at you. And how they have an anger problem they are working on. Or they had a bad day at work. Or how they worry so much about you they got mad you were late. Anything to make you feel like them getting mad at you was one big mistake and how lucky you are that this person so called cared about you. Well. All of this is a test and pre-scripted. The narcissist though. Is itching to let their mask slip. 
they enjoy the cat and mouse game of you not knowing how evil they really are. And then once they know they have you bonded to them. They know. This weekend is the weekend. They are going to look for anything they can yell at you for. And then they do it. Just to see how easy they can win you back over after the chaos has calmed down. Chaos they caused. But then fast forward several years later. Their mask is completely off. There are more bad times than good times. Heck you seem to live in one big bad terrible time it seems. And then they push you literally almost to the edge. But then something happens. After months and months and years and years of a terrible time. They cry. Or they say they want to go get help together. No no no. This is not them wanting to admit they are a narcissist or to get real help. But they will make you think you have a chance at saving the relationship. They might say. Hey. Let's go grab something to eat okay. And they will be nice. The magic the narcissist works on you. And the magic they worked on me. Is they know the right moment to reel us back in with nice treatment. And to convince us that we have a shot at making things work. Even though they may have seen someone behind our back. Or stole money from us. And this is to answer a question I believe was left on my last video. Does the narcissist know what they are doing? And the answer is yes. Yes they do. You see there is a woman here on YouTube. And I forget her channel name. But she is a self-proclaimed narcissist. She talked about in great detail of how she entraps new people into her life. And she said this getting to know you face. She admitted to coming on strong to get the man she was interested into trapping. She wanted him to be and feel obligated to her when she took her mask off and started to treat him poorly. So he would stick around and be a good source of narcissistic supply. And when a narcissist pulls back. Just to keep you around a little bit longer. They know exactly what they are doing. It's all on purpose. But it's the timing. My mother was a genius and talented at getting people to do things for her and give her free things. My mother never worked a day in her life. Yet made her way in the world by manipulating people. And I remember my brother said. Wow mom. It's so strange how you talk people into anything you want. It's almost like magic. And the truth is it is to a degree. Because they work on you by the words they say and their actions towards you. To put you into almost a trance-like state so you can't think straight. And they can suggest anything they want and they get you to go along with it. Think back to all the things you did and went through with the narcissist. And you think to yourself. What was I thinking? But if you look at it really carefully. You probably remember being and feeling like you were almost in a fog-like state. That's the narcissist's magic. They know how to hold their eyes and head. And position themselves when they are talking to you. To get you to almost blank out and go along with what they want. Now what I'm about ready to say. Is in no way to suggest you or I are or were. Weak-minded people. But they like to target people that are in a weekend state. Or they work on you until you are in a weekend state. And they use almost like Jedi-like suggestions on you and I. But this is why the discard happens so fast. Or they ramp up the smear campaigns against you once they see you are clear-eyed and strong. Because they know they no longer have the power of suggestion over you. Now they will still try. But if they see they aren't getting good results. From what they are trying to pull. Look out. With that said, a narcissist can reel you back in 100 times to discard you right after they said everything was fine. The key here with all of this is to have boundaries within yourself. And what I mean by that is, when you start to feel yourself feel foggy and swept away, take a step back and reassess what is going on. And know someone that is trying to play nice after they have called you all kinds of names is just after to control your mind. This is a mind control technique. First to gain your trust through gifts and kind treatment. Then to break you down with gaslighting and horrible treatment. Then to come back and treat you well. 
only to rinse and repeat until they have wiped your mind and they can have you do what they want you to do like a puppet. So if you're feeling foggy, there's a good chance you're not only dealing with a toxic narcissist. There's a good chance you are dealing with a toxic narcissist that is trying to literally wipe your mind. Wipe your mind and control you. You see. I watch this video. And I again forget this woman's channel. But she was talking about how she admired certain terrible people in the world that had the ability to control mass amounts of people. To get them to do what they want them to do. This is the way of the narcissist. And narcissists love control. And when they become a part of your life. It's not that things were going well and they couldn't hide their terrible side any longer. No 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 no. That's not it at all. The day they first met you. They literally set out to mind control you. Through a series of brainwashing and manipulation tactics. All to get you to go into a fog so you would just be swept along and unable to stand up for yourself and think. Rationally think about what is going on. So you will continue to give this toxic person the benefit of the doubt and a foothold into your life. All through them little by little working magic like mind control on you since the first day they met you. And if the very thought of that creeps you out. It should. It really should. Because like the Bible teaches us. To guard our hearts. It also talks about to not cast your pearls amongst swine. You see. The Most High knows. That there are a lot of wolves dressed like sheep in the world. And they would love to take you down. And they will do so through trickery and manipulation. It's usually not straightforward. Because straightforward is a lot easier to spot. But guarding your heart. And not letting everyone know every thought or detail about your life. This can possibly allow you to take a step back. And see through the magic fog the narcissist metaphorically tries to blow into your face to make you clueless as to what is going on. But instead you will be more laser focused, but capable of pretending to not know what the narcissist is all about while in their presence. So you can make a quick escape. If you have been with someone for a long time. And they treat you so badly. Then out of nowhere they do this nice act. Trust me. It's an act. And this cycle will keep on repeating itself. Until the narcissist discards you. Or until one or both of you are old and grey and no longer on this earth. Wake up. Blow the magic narcissist's fog out of your eyes. Slow things down. Think about what is happening. And get out. Get out. With that said. I would like to know your thoughts. Because the more we share. The more we grow. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.